Hey everybody, how's it going today? I am here in my friend's shop where we are going to take care of Leaky Pete and his dirty oil leak. And we are going to do that by putting in a brand new oil tank for the Sportster. Now, I got this tank from Lowbrow Customs. Um, it's actually a drag specialties tank. And uh, quality-wise, um, it's, uh, it's not too bad, but there's uh, definitely some imperfections in the paint, things like that. Uh, so I wouldn't be putting it on a show bike, but uh, for $155 and what I'm going to be using it for, that won't be a problem. So let's get to it. So here is old Leaky Pete, and we have an issue as we have a leak coming out right at the bottom there somewhere. And I believe we've got an issue probably uh, um, not with the hose, but actually where the fitting where it goes on. So we're going to pull that out. We're going to do an oil change too, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But the first thing we've got to do is we've got to get our battery out and the battery box out so we can get at the bolts at the back. Which shouldn't be too big of an issue because I think there's only uh, I think there's only a couple of bolts holding it in, and of course we've got a cameo from one of the shop cats as well. So let's get to it. So first things first, and that is getting the oil out. And on these old Sportsters, um, they have basically drain lines or a drain hose, and this one is located right under the battery box. So before I take that box off, I'm gonna get the oil out. Okay, we got the oil out, got the battery out, and it's just these two bolts holding in this battery box. So we can get that guy out and we can start looking at the bolts to take the uh, oil tank out. Okay, we got our battery box out. Now we can start looking at getting the oil tank undone. And there's three fasten points, one there, one right there, and then we have another one, which is located, if I can get a good shot of it, uh, right there. And as you can see, it is sitting basically directly almost on the fender. So you can see this bike's a little bit modified here, so... Uh, uh, we're going to see how much fun we have getting that off, but uh, let's get to her. And there we have it. It is out. Once you get those bolts or those nuts off, uh, you can pull the, um, the oil uh, tank out a little bit and it's easier to get the lines off. Now, having a look at this, I think we have found the culprit to the leak. Because if you look at this tab, and it's one that holds the battery box on, it is severely bent. And looking down, it looks like oil has been running down from that tab. So it most likely cracked. And that's a pretty dirty bend to that tab. So that looks like the issue. So we'll put our new one in. And obviously, you're going to have to transfer this over. And you're going to have to take these little uh, rubber mounts off and transfer those onto the new, uh, the new tank as well. Okay, we got everything transferred over. We're ready to put her in. So uh, now comes the fun part. Okay, I got the tank wiggled into place here. Got to put the lines on. I've got one on, and I'm going to tell you that this line right here at the bottom, that line there is a real pain in the ass to get on because I can't put it on with the tank out. I've got to put it in and then try and get that on, and there's not much room at all, as you can see. But we will continue on. We'll put the lines back on, see if we can uh, get her all bolted into place. Okay, we got our lines all back on. We got our bolts and nuts in, and let's see if we can get that battery box in. Okay, we got her all uh, pretty much back together. I just got to hook up that uh, drain line. And uh, after that, I'm just going to throw a uh, new oil filter on there too, just because we drain the oil. Might as well do the complete oil change. And uh, then we'll fill this bad boy up and, well, see if there's a big mess. Okay, we're going to start filling this guy up. And uh, 
just going to be using the regular uh, Harley 2050 oil. Nothing special. Uh, this bike doesn't see a hell of a lot of action, really. It's more of kind of a kind of a bar hopper, so the regular oil will probably be fine. Okay, so let's see if uh, we make any messes. folks that's it that's all we're done uh hopefully leaky pete isn't quite as leaky anymore but we shall see now uh fyi it took about uh two and a half liters to uh fill the oil tank up to get it where i wanted uh i'll be checking that again when i get home just to make sure uh, i put blue loctite on pretty much every bolt just to dabble do you and uh, also I put a little oil in the oil filter, in the new oil filter, before I put that on the bike. So just little tips, FYI. Um, now, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. Come follow the further adventures of Leaky Pete. And uh, until next time, we will see you later.